The story begins with a man known for his role in shaping our state of Victoria. His vision to establish the Melbourne and Olympic Parks precinct involved a journey. A journey met with significant challenges. Challenges that were overcome thanks to his determination to make his vision a reality. And that enabled the development of the National Tennis Centre, now Rod Laver Arena, which secured Melbourne as host of one of only four Tennis Grand Slam events internationally. More than that, it paved the way for the wider precinct to flourish as Australia's heart of sports and entertainment. Because of these contributions to our state, Melbourne's home of indoor sports will now be named John Kane Arena. It's hard to imagine our city without the Melbourne and Olympic Parks precinct, home to hundreds of events and millions of visitors. Its establishment can be traced firmly to the vision of John Kane. Visitors to John Kane Arena will experience over 100 world-class sport and entertainment performances a year. It's a special place, a place where not only fans, but also family and friends can celebrate up close the magic of elite tennis, the sensation of world-class sport in action, or the spine-tingling raw energy of a sell-out concert. John Kane Arena celebrates the indelible legacy of a visionary, the 41st Premier of Victoria, John Kane. A man determined to provide Victoria with the best tennis, the best sport, and the best entertainment facilities in the world, securing the future of the Australian Open. We're proud to memorialise John Kane's contribution through John Kane Arena. <laughs>